So the first activity we're gonna do is just performed in tall kneeling. And really, your child can play anything they're playing with on the floor, you can perform in tall kneeling, which is essentially just this position right here. Um, so you can grab a bunch of cups or whatever it is, blocks. Um, we're, we're doing some blocks here. She's not in a tall kneeling position, but he is. And so just up tall on your knees, you're gonna reach for the cups and just have them build a tower um, with whatever objects that you might find. Um, the bending forward and picking up the objects is a really good one because it makes them have to really activate those core muscles when they have to bend forward and then go back up into a neutral position. One thing I tend to see with a lot of my students, um, we do variations of this activity at school, um, but a lot of them like to sit back on their feet. So they just kind of, yep, they go into that position and they want to play like that. But it's better to actually have them in a tall kneeling position again to work on that upper body and um, core strength. So. For this next activity, um, you can take a pile of cotton balls. Um, I'm gonna hold a basket or a little box of cotton balls above Hunter. Um, he's gonna sit back onto his bottom and he's going to reach up. So you wanna place the item above the child's head as far as, um, just far enough for them to be able to go up into a tall kneeling position to reach it. and then just have them drop it into a cup or some sort of container. Um, so a lot of the kiddos, they get tired and so they like to again, go back onto their feet. And so having the object above their head makes them have to go up into that tall kneeling position um, and make them use those hip muscles, the ab muscles. Good. So the next activity is um, a half kneeling activity. You can do, again, any activity in these positions. Like I said, if they're playing with cars, they're building Legos, they're you know, at a Lego table, putting Legos together, they're building blocks, they're um, coloring. If you have a coffee table, you can have them put their paper on the coffee table and they can perform this position while they are coloring, which is another good um, variation of the activity. So Hunter, go ahead and stack up those cups. We're gonna move on to the next one. Hunter. So the next activity is a half kneeling position. Um, a lot of children find the position difficult because um, it's, requires a lot of core strength and lower extremity strength. And so when their uh, lower half of their body is weaker than it should be, um, they tend to try and not do that position very often. So a half kneeling position is generally the position that we use when we get up from the floor. So Hunter's just gonna demonstrate, you can take a ball, you can take a teddy bear, you can take whatever. Um, object you want, but you're going to have the student hold the object and they're going to go down into a half kneeling position and touch it to one side and then stand up and then they're going to go down into the half kneeling position again, touch it to the other side and stand back up. And they're generally going to try to stay in one spot and do it instead of progress along. But if you do want to, um, change it up a little bit instead of just staying static in one spot you can move forward as hunter was doing before okay Good 
All right, so that's the end of this video. Um, next, we're gonna come at you with some more core strengthening activities um, and just general um, stretching positions. <laughs>